Keith, where do you think the game got away from you there in the second half? Because it was a, it was a close game for most of the game until about midway through the second half. Well, I I told you I didn't feel like we've been in great condition most of the the ball. You know, I that's what scared me about not playing. You know, not having scrimmages, exhibition games. We just kind of died on the vine. You know, our, I felt like our our big guys had very little juice, really. Marcus, Mike, they looked tired. You know, Sin played a lot of minutes, and we just didn't shoot the ball well. You know, we made mistakes with the ball the first half. You know, just a little disjointed. Not the end of the world, but, like, we got a lot of work to do. We, we, we need to play. Keith, you talked on Friday about some of your freshman guys and deciding whether to get them in there. How do you think they, uh, you know, acquitted themselves in this one? Uh, they played like freshmen for the most part. I mean, you know, Chad fouled. I thought he played pretty well, but he fouled. Dre Harris, you know, a little disjointed. Uh, Tyson made a good play, then made a bad play. Toby played, I thought Toby played pretty well, and then he, he made a couple mistakes. You know, it's not their fault though. Like, we just have to, you know, our, our older guys have to play better. Keith, what went behind the decision to start Austin over Michael? It's an easy decision. Keith, what they, 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 I guess it got a little bit closer there in the second half with the rebounding margin, but specifically in the first half, you mentioned the big guys not having a ton of energy. Is that kind of how you uh, chalk that up, I guess? It, it seemed like they had a big rebounding margin there in the first half. I felt like Marcus really, you know, his juice level was just okay. You know, he struggled a little, like he wasn't here all summer because his mom was sick. So he wasn't here all spring and summer pretty much. And I think, you know, it's hurt him a little bit. And I think obviously when he only gets four rebounds, it's a tough day for us. He's a good rebounder. You mentioned, uh, go ahead, Zach. Keith, they were going 1-3-1 on you in the first half, maybe some out-of-character turnovers. Was that more some of the looks they were throwing at you? Was that more mental, conditioning-wise? What would what do you look at that as? We knew it was coming, Zach. We, we practiced it. So we just, we just made some mistakes. We had openings. We had open looks. We, we just made some mistakes unforced. You know, it's a little harder because you, you can't control the action as much. You just got to play. You know, we had trouble with the icing of the ball screens as well, where they forced it down in. Just had a rough time of it. We just couldn't get couldn't get going. Keith, are you okay with your team taking that many shots from uh, behind the arc, or would you rather them drive inside and get closer looks to the hoop? Well, I mean, they doubled the post. So every time the ball got in the post, they doubled it. So when that happens, you're going to shoot some threes. I mean, I felt like we had a lot of good threes. We didn't make any. Like we had our good shooters shooting open ones and didn't make. Like when you get Dunn, Martin, and Lamar, you know they're they're five for eighteen. I felt like all of those were good shots. We just didn't shoot the ball well. So I yeah I mean, I think we shot about forty percent of our shots last year were threes. That's the way we kind of play. Now they did a good job of you know minimizing Mike Hughes and uh, you know and and Marcus around the rim. But like we made, like this. we made mistakes in the first half, just entry passes. It looked like a first game to me. Like, but like we play a better team, we play a better team on Wednesday, so we better buckle up because they're they're better than Little Rock. Keith, you I feel like this, uh, this playing in front of an empty stadium is it's kind of I imagine it would be a little bit of a weird experience to start off for any players. Like, how did that go? Was it weird trying to get guys fired up? Was there anything like that that was I don't know uncommon or that you think may have contributed a little bit to the flatness you talked about? I just think the whole year has been weird, Mike. Like, just I mean, I, we're just trying to get our feet on the ground. Like, I think some teams are going to play a little bit better. And some teams are going to play a little bit worse until they get back into the routine of it all. You know, like obviously we didn't play very good. So, you know, that's on me, but like it's been hard because you got shutdowns. It's just hard. It's a hard deal. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in coaching. But, you know, like 
we, we don't have a lot of time to like rally ourselves. We got to play better. Like, I just felt like we were running in mud most of the night. Like really didn't have any answers for them. Keith, you mentioned that Sincere played a lot of minutes. Do you have a, 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 a backup point guard in mind that might eventually might be able to take more of his minutes and help him out a little? Yeah, I, I didn't want to play him that many minutes, but we were so damn bad, I didn't have many choices. Like, I had to keep him in the game just to hang around the game. But we feel like we got other guys that can play there. But they're young. I mean. Which one of those freshmen you think might uh, – or maybe two for two of those freshmen might move into that spot. Well, I think Tyson could play there. Mikey Bakelja could play there, and certainly Tavian could play there. So, we got other guys. We just we just have to feel comfortable enough to go that direction. Keith, as you look ahead with what happened yesterday with Greensboro and Winthrop, just what if any update do you have as it relates to those two games? From what I've been told, they're going to play. I think Winthrop's down one guy or two guys. So which I don't really know how the rules work, but evidently there's different rules for every different team. Like if you test positive, I'm assuming you can't play, but they, they have positive tests and they're going to play. So, As a follow, Keith, how is everything scheduling going beyond these three games? Uh, is there any progress towards that end? We're working on it, but we need to play. Like that's the other part of it. Like you could see the rust like by not having an exhibition, not having a scrimmage. I mean, it was, wasn't was a very good performance at all. I mean, but like, I get it. I get it. We could sit there and say we're experienced, which we are, but you still got to have energy. What do you attribute that lack of energy to? Do you think that that's just not having fans? Do you think that it just didn't feel like a real first game because of the craziness? Why didn't, why didn't your team have any energy? I think, you know, the spring and the summer conditioning and the shutdowns have hurt us. I mean, like we we're a pretty hard working group over time, right? And we, you know, those those weeks off, those days off, Marcus didn't have any summer at all. Like he's probably 10, 12 pounds heavier than he was last year. I think like that's hard. You know, it's gonna take him time to be what he was last year, as simple as that. And you know. I think, you know, that's part of it. It's like I told you, every team reacts a little bit differently to different situations. And obviously our reaction wasn't very good. Speaking of uh, the future, Keith, on Twitter today, there was some talk about Notre Dame coming to town to play Duquesne. Any any truth to that? Any any well, comment on that? Talking about the December 4th date, right? I think we're here December 4th, right, Dave? So we can't play on December 4th. So that's not a that's not a good rumor then. I mean, not that I mean we're calling everybody in the country, but not that I know of. I mean, we're calling everybody to play, but you know, not that I know of, unless somebody knows something I don't know. 